Good evening and welcome to the 32nd episode. Last time I had left you all with a puzzle. How did I get into this sticky situation? I had lost a lot of weight. I was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I did get a lot of good responses from you all and thank you for that. In order to learn what happened, we need to understand a brilliant concept from Peter Senge's fifth discipline. And I use a metaphor to explain that of a chessboard. The pieces have a certain rules and at any point in time you can only make moves from a finite set. So for any action there is a set of consequences which is quite predictable. This would be called a detailed complexity problem in Senge's parlance. So on the other side, imagine a chessboard where the pieces have their own mind. I say pawn move two steps and the pawn says, wait a minute, today my boss yelled at me so I am not going to move. And if every piece decided on its own whether to move or not and how to move, the kind of chess we will get would be called a dynamic complexity problem, where the actions and consequences are not directly correlated. The consequences are highly uncertain and unpredictable. In order to make better sense of this concept, we created a new chart by combining both into a single diagram we call the uncertainty barometer. When we start our lives, early days, grade school, we learn simple things and the complexity levels are quite low. Even in, at the university, dynamic complexity is still low. Our first job is still based on functional expertise. I became a project leader within three years of joining the workforce and I could manage the projects and programs that I was leading for the next several years just using functional expertise and my intuition. I believe that when the dynamic complexity increases very high, it, your intuition runs out. That is the situation I had landed into. I, was, I had to do sales, business development, leadership based on general management principles. And I was eight years into my career and I had just gotten married a year back and uh, I had my own adjustment issues with my spouse even though she is very supportive. The big mistakes I was making were, one, I could have used the previous five years to learn about formal methods of management, motivation, leadership. I failed to do that. And after having landed into this situation, because I didn't understand the dynamic detail complexity, etc., I was treating the dynamic complexity problem as a detail complexity problem. This is a common error pattern that many managers and leaders do. We also have the artificial uncertainties created by bureaucracy, opaque rules and laws and regulations changing often. At any point in time, if you want to do anything world class, the dynamic and detail complexity is off the charts. That's why it's very hard to do. Now, when there is high uncertainty, if you plot yourself onto this chart in that area, you will face additional problems like I was facing. I used to imagine these situations. I write a big proposal and it fails. What would happen if that turned out to be the case? And because we were having some health insurance policy issues, I would imagine associate falling sick, going to the hospital and treatment is denied because there is insufficient health coverage. All these problems would put me under even more stress than I was at. So if you are ever in this situation, please seek help and not wait till the last minute like what I was doing. Now why is uncertainty such a big problem? Because it's a root level trigger. And I explained this as the SCARF model in episode number 8. With that, I thank you all for listening to my coverage of the uncertainty barometer.